this time in history of youth ministry, we are having three major crises that are kind of crashing into each other as we attempt to love kids in the name of Christ. And these are creating for us a new challenge to have a new way of thinking, a more grounded, foundational, theological way of thinking about what youth ministry is. That's what adoptive youth ministry is about. Here's the three basic things that are happening. One is, as we realize we're losing kids like crazy, whether it's the Sticky Faith Research that tells us roughly half of our kids who were seniors in high school who deeply love Christ, deeply involved in the church, roughly half two years later have said the church is no longer for me. But there's another study out of Canada called Hemorrhaging Faith that looked at 7th and 8th graders and that was an even greater number. That in Canada what they were saying is they're losing their kids 6th, 7th and 8th grade. And somewhere between 6th and 8th grade they're losing more than 50%. And in my own studies I would say we're, the biggest loss is somewhere between the beginning of 9th grade and the end of 10th grade. We are losing a lot of kids. So even though Sticky Faith looked at those that had stuck around to their senior year, we still lost half of those. But throughout the entire adolescent journey, they're falling off, they're falling out. And we're trying to figure out what to do about that. That's what Sticky Faith and others, and I've been part of that, are doing. The second major problem is our culture is becoming more and more secularized to the point where the basic foundational starting point for kids today, even in the church, is a intense secularization of life where faith itself actually has less personal meaning. It's much less of a directive narrative for kids. Even if they've been raised in the church, we have the rise of what are called the nuns, N-O-N-E-S, where people are saying, I have no faith affiliation on the Census Bureau, for example. And uh, five years ago, People over 30, one in three, in the, one in five in the U.S. said they have no religious affiliation. People under 30, it was one in three. That was five years ago. Let's look at now, what about today's 15 to 30 year old? It may be one in two at least, when all the films and all the narratives and all the movies simply are a reflection of a secular society and that affects how we help kids to take Jesus Christ seriously. And the third major crisis facing all of our kids is the work that I've been doing for years, uh, it's hurt, and then the new, the new version of that, Hurt 2.0, and in 2018 or 19, I'm gonna have a new book following up on that. Our kids have been so wounded by the expectations to perform according to the agendas of adults. So we're losing kids, they're being raised in an increasingly secular culture, unprecedented in history, and our kids are hurt by being under this performance commitment to try to, some way to perform their way into blessing. Our kids need something different. Our kids need something more grounded, more communal, more empowering. And that's what adoptive youth ministry is, is to take seriously the call of the gospel on all those precious vulnerable kids around the world.